On the 8th of August, 1934, the Coudron C450 Rafale, piloted by Hélène Boucher, set an international speed record over 1,000 kilometers or 409 kilometers an hour. And just three days later, she also broke the women's speed record at 445 kilometers an hour. What does this dip into the aeronautical archive have to do with cars, you ask? Well, the C450, like numerous other record-breaking planes from Coutron, was powered by an inverted Renault straight-six engine. And this historic connection served as the inspiration for naming the French company's latest coupé SUV. The Rafale, which is French for gust, is the next phase in the Renaultion, a strategy that sees the car makers moving up market and offering a vehicle in every customer segment. The exterior embodies the next step in design chief Gilles Vidal's vision of establishing a completely new visual language for the entire model range. Indeed, the sharp creases and chiseled features represent a radical departure from the flowing curves and organic shapes of the recent crop of Renault products. In fact, there's something almost Peugeot-like about the use of angled surfaces and geometric shapes in details like the lights and grill. The latter sports a contemporary reinterpretation of the diamond logo, surrounded by a constellation of small diamonds that are arranged in a three-dimensional textured fashion. Incidentally, this complex structure was created using artificial intelligence in a parametric modeling software application, the same type of software that helps to design the Bird's Nest Olympic Stadium in Beijing, so it must be very clever. Further hints of the diamond shape can be found throughout the Rafale's design, including the headlights and tail lamp clusters. These have been pushed out as far as possible to accentuate the car's wider, more planted stance from the back. This is no visual trickery, by the way. The Rafale's track is a full 4 cm wider than their SPAS, with which it shares a platform. Rounding off the distinctive outer appearance is a new shade of alpine blue, slightly deeper than that found on the A110 sports car and one of five available body colors. If all of this sounds like your cafe or lay, wait until you step inside. The cabin of the Rafale is every bit as revolutionary as the exterior, and all the better for it. The heavily bolstered seats feature Alcantara inserts that are 61% recycled and intended to hold occupants securely in place during spirited driving. More about that in a moment. You won't find lashings of bold walnut, carbon fiber or even piano black aboard this car. This isn't 2013. Inside, the Techno model features dyed cork accents while this Esprit Alpine version features slate. Yes, like roof tiles. This unusual material adorns the dash on the passenger side and, because the gear lever has been moved to the steering column, a handrest for the driver. Look closely and you'll notice that the leather covering the seats, door panels and steering wheel has been triple stitched in red, white and blue. Very patriotic. The pièce de résistance, however, has to be the Solar Bay panoramic glass roof which provides maximum protection from the sun in seconds. The nine segments can be darkened sequentially or in a number of different combinations and unlike a conventional sunshade, the rear passengers can choose to have their section of the roof open while the front is darkened. Back to the aforementioned spirited driving. At launch, the Rafale will be available with a 149kW E-Tech hybrid powertrain featuring a multi-mode automatic transmission, multi-link rear suspension and Renault's signature four-control four-wheel steering system. Aside from placing driver pleasure at the forefront, it's also notably efficient, delivering a claimed consumption figure of 4.7 litres per 100. The battery employed in the hybrid system is mounted under the floor, so it doesn't encroach on boot space, which is a positively cavernous 647 litres. And that brings us back to the Rafale's winged namesake and the other Renault connection. Such was the publicity garnered by Mademoiselle Boucher's record-breaking exploits that Renault asked her to promote its Viva Grand Sport. Like the airplane, the prestigious touring car featured an inline six-cylinder engine and it happened to be designed by the same aeronautical engineer, Marcel Riffard. The all-new Rafale couldn't have asked for a finer pedigree and if it's on paper credentials or anything to go by, it should soar to great heights.